Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, because you guys requested it, joining the Dragon Ball Collection is yet another Goku home screen setup. Following on from the last Goku Black theme, with a score of over 1000, I bring you guys Goku going Super Saiyan. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. A series where I show you how you can easily and quickly get these stunning minimalistic setups on your Android phones. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here he is, in all his golden glory, Goku standing tall surrounded by his Super Saiyan aura. With this setup, I've gone for vertical icons colored in the theme of the Dragon Balls, accompanied at the top of the screen by a Japanese style date indicator, and at the bottom with a circular time, battery and weather widget. This setup will be running Nova Launcher using KWGT widgets and to complete the look, I'll be using the Hex Installer for system wide customization. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars, then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. And to get this comfy icon layout, make sure to head to Nova's home screen settings and change the grid size to 5 across and 10 down. And to really clean up your home screen, I highly recommend you turn off icon labels, increase your icon size as well as disabling your home screen dock. Now that we have that out the way, the icon pack that we're using in this setup to give us that Dragon Ball look are the orange star icons, which is available for free from the Play Store. Just simply head to Nova's look and feel section and set the pack as your system icons. And before we go any further, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. Next up, these awesome KWGT widgets. Starting at the top of the screen with this date indicator, similar to the style of Goku's uniform crest from the Japanese KWGT pack is the Japanese day of the week widget. Just simply load it to your home screen, then resize and reposition it. For a quick guide on KWGT manipulation, make sure you check out the video in the top right corner. And once you're happy with the look, make sure to hit save and let's move on to the next widget. Indicating the time, your phone's battery level, as well as the local weather is widget number 175 from the outline pack. Now by default, once you've loaded it to your home screen, you notice that the second indicator, instead of showing the battery level, indicates the date instead. But before we start replacing this with a battery indicator, let's first head into the positioning tab and anchor the widget to the center left. And of course, adjust its size until we get to a look that we're happy with. So now that we have the layout out the way, let's add in our battery indicator. For this, we want to head into the second stack group and then the overlay group item. Here, just follow along as we first replace the font icon from that bed image to a battery icon. And next, we're going to turn that turquoise circular shape into a dynamic battery bar. So using the plus button in the top right corner, we're going to add in a new progress item, which by default automatically indicates your phone's battery level. Now let's head into it and within the style tab, we're going to change it from a linear bar to a circular one. And next, we want to adjust its size and height to perfectly overlap the turquoise circle beneath it. And now to overlap the two together, head into the color tab and change the filter from normal to multiply. 
And as a final tweak, we're also going to change the background color to black. Now let's head back up and alter these two text elements. For this, we're going to head into the stack group underneath the battery icon overlay group that we were just in. Here, we're going to adjust both of these text items. Firstly, with the top text, replacing the today with battery. And finally, with the second text item, we're going to replace the formula with the one on screen. At this point, feel free to adjust the size of the text as well as the overall widget itself. And wrapping up this setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across the whole system including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. And alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app One Shade. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.